Hello everyone, welcome to another video in the series of semantic kernel. So this is the fourth video and before this I have already spoke about few things like how you can get started with semantic kernel, how to set up the VS code if you want to work with semantic kernel and how you can read the prompt from a text file. So going ahead with that, in this video, I will be talking about the prompt templates, how you can use prompt templates with the semantic kernel. And I will be talking about both Azure OpenAI as well as OpenAI's implementation for semantic kernel. So let's get started with that. So I'm on my VS code and I have already imported these many packages and I'm using .NET environment values to read the configuration. So my configuration file contains all the keys and settings which are required to invoke our LLM as well as any other settings uh, which we need for this one. And before starting this, make sure that you have uh, open, if you are using OpenAI, make sure that you have your key and the organization ID ready. And if you are going with Azure OpenAI, make sure you have like model deployed properly. You have your endpoint API version and the key handy with you. So I'm already having that and I have set all those things in my configuration. So I'm just going to execute the cell. And in my this cell, I'm just setting up my LLM. So I'm using Azure OpenAI and that's the reason I'm having this Azure text completion. So here what we need to do is we need to add Azure text completion as a service to kernel. So these are the required parameters which we need to add. You need to provide some unique service ID, deployment name, endpoint, API version, and the key. Once all these are set, it means we have associated our Azure OpenAI service with the kernel. We have registered it basically. And then what we are saying is we need to define the prompt. So in this video, I will just show you how you can summarize the given text into a certain number of words. So this is how I'm defining my prompt here. And then I'm defining the execution settings. So prompt execution settings means you need to tell which LLM you are using or if any other prompt related stuff you have. So if you will look at this particular function, you will see that these are the parameters which you can provide like stop, what is your stop sequence, maximum number of tokens, AI model and all these. So in my case, I'm just saying associate it with this particular service ID which I have just created and rest all settings will be uh, the one which I'm defining it over here. So I'm just saying take max token equal to 500 and this is what I'm having is in execution settings. Then I need to define the, define the configuration for my prompt template. So in template, you need to tell what is your template. So template is the one which I have defined it as a first line in the cell. Then I need to provide a unique name, the template format. So there are two types of template format, semantic kernel and handlebars. So I will talk about handlebars sometime in my upcoming videos, but let's stick with the semantic kernel as a template format here and then you need to set up your input variable so just use the same keyword what you have used it uh, in your prompt and mark it whether it is mandatory or not and that's all we need to do so once these two are done we are good to go ahead and associate these settings with our kernel so for associating that with kernel we need to call create function from prompt here you need to provide the plugin name function name and the configuration which we just created Let's go ahead and run this. And then I'm saying, okay, this is my input text and I want to invoke the function which I have created. So for that, we need to use await because this is an asynchronous call. We need to provide the name of the prompt template configuration and here are our kernel arguments. So execute this cell as well. And you will see that the summary is displayed over here, which is around 50 to 70 words. So this is one way of doing it. And if you want to execute the same flow using OpenAI, then what you can do is it's just a few lines of code. So instead of this particular block, you need to use these lines and rest all will still same as it is. So this is the only change if you are going with OpenAI or Azure OpenAI. Now, apart from this, there is another way to perform the same thing using prompt template. Let me quickly walk you through that. So in this case, what we will be doing is we will be instantiating our kernel. We will be adding our LLM service to it. We will be getting ready with the uh, input text. And now in this case, rather than creating the configuration and the prompt template, we will be just doing it using this way. So in which we will say create function prompt prompt and we'll just provide the function name, plugin name and the prompt. So 
it's up to you which way works best for you but if you are going with the above approach which is using the configuration templates you will have uh, options to customize more for your flow so but ultimately both will give you the output and both will have exactly the same results so this is what we have and you can see the results are exactly the same as far as I can see so it doesn't make much difference if you don't have uh, so much settings to define over here and uh, under this template. And I hope you got an idea how you can utilize prompt templates and associate it with uh, the semantic kernel. Thanks for watching.